What's up, everybody? There are so many myths when it comes to Facebook ads. Today, the game is so much more simple, so long as you know the steps to take to do so. Now, in this video, Bjorn was concerned about the learning phase. We bust that myth in about 30 seconds, and then we focus on what you can do to get consistent results for your customers so they'll continue to pay you month after month. If you wanna know more about the Facebook ads SaaS game, this video is for you. Let's go. We have generated uh, in the last year, 779,668 leads. At an average lead cost of $12.93. So that's probably more leads than any lead generation software has ever created for anyone on the face of the planet when it's been done by the end user. So that means our end users are getting those results. Your initial question was about learning phase. Learning phase is the symptom. It is not the source. I don't remember the last time I even looked at learning phase. Couldn't care less. And learning phase for a landing page and for a lead form are different. I don't remember what the rules are on it. If you want to get super nerdy, you could go to Wednesday and ask Jacob, but it's not important because what is important is number one, does your offer work? How do you know if your offer works? What is your link click-through rate? Is it above 1%? What is your click-through rate all? Is it above 2%? Those are the first two things. Your, your first, the, the, the metrics go in order. The metric that tells you if you have good images, that is click-through rate all. You want that to be the highest of all the metrics. So that needs to be, you know, one and a half percent and above. The metric that tells you whether you have a good offer is your link click-through rate, okay? And you want that to be 1% and above. The metric that tells you whether your offer is clear to the end person that's did you actually hit the offer on the head like it's a validation step is the conversion rate and if that is 10 percent, then you're good all the other stuff is you got to simplify and by the way how do you fix them not targeting see you're trying to solve a problem by technical targeting and that is not how facebook works it's not a targeting platform it's a psychographics platform which means you got to tap into the creative if you go through that creative process and find your offers that's what's going to make you win. The fact that he is talking about learning means that don't ever worry about the learning phase ever again. The only time you need to worry about a learning phase is after three weeks of running ads is if you need to put it back into learning phase. Learning phase is your friend. Did you know that? If after three weeks we've been running a campaign, getting leads at a good cost, and all of a sudden they start to tank and go nowhere, how do we fix that? What is the easiest, fastest solution to doing that? Everybody talks about ad fatigue. Ad fatigue is a lie. Ad fatigue is a lie that somebody told you because they suck at marketing. All you gotta do is put that shit back into learning. Bam, it'll learn, it'll, and what learning does, it takes your ad and it says, okay, I'm looking down from 30,000 feet in, in the air, throw the water balloon, it's gonna splash over here. If it's splashed and I got all these people wet, at some point in time, they're gonna dry out. It's like, okay, I need to throw the balloon somewhere else, right? We're just, we're just, when we do learning, that means that it's finding out where in the audience can it really work. But it's not gonna work if you don't have a good offer, if you don't have a good ad. That should be like the biggest sense of relief for you because all you gotta do is fix the ad, Bjorn. That's all you gotta do. The, the visual first, let's get that click-through rate all up. The link click-through rate next, which is the ad copy and the offer, and then the conversion rate last, which by the way, don't make the mistake and change all three of them at once. Change just one, start with the creative. If that's if that's broken, start there. Fix the problem. So if, if, you're, if your click-through rate all is good, that means your visuals caught the attention of the person that you wanted to catch. A link click-through rate isn't good. You're not making them an offer. Go into Upex, use our AI tools and see if you can put more emphasis on the actual ad or the actual offer portion itself okay like even emojis next week 30 days free to our dojo okay that should be your headline okay that's an offer that's that's really good for people and test them based on the metrics that are telling you you need to improve it so if you got a good click-through rate all leave it if you got a link click-through rate that's struggling and a lot of times people will have a good link click-through rate or an acceptable you know above threshold link click-through rate and click-through rate all and then the conversion rate stinks and their conversion rate stinks because they overthink what a lead form should do. 
And all a lead form should do is make clear the offer that you made and say, click here to get the thing I told you you were going to get in the ad. They want it to do like the next thing. You if you want to go ahead and post your ad into the Facebook group and, and I'll give you some feedback on it. The Upex group, I want the Upex group to be a place where people can come post their stuff. And then people like me, I mean, there's a lot of people that come to these and there's a lot of people that give feedback. I mean, Jeremy and Steven, they give tons of feedback in there and they know what they're talking about. So post your stuff in there and get some feedback.